क्वेश्चन नंबर 66 ऑन वर्ड्स नाउ दिस 66 टू 70 दिस फाइव आर बेस्ड ऑन डाटा सफिशिएंसी हियर नाउ कमिंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 66 व्हाट इज इंफॉर्मेशन वी हैड इज बेस्ड ऑन कोडिंग एंड डीकोडिंग डाटा सफिशिएंसी हाउ वी सेड रिटन इन द गिवन कोड लैंग्वेज नाउ वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई द कोड गिवन टू द वर्ड सेड नाउ इन द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हियर ही सेड and C wants. There is no word which is common between these two. Hence, one alone is not sufficient to determine the code to the word set. And similarly in two, and in the same code language, C said and he cooks. Here also there is no word which is common between these two. Hence, two alone is also not sufficient. One alone is not sufficient, two alone is not sufficient, then we need to combine these two. Then if you combine both these two, tell me what is the word that is common here? Said is the only word that is common. As said is a word that is common, one code will be common, isn't it? One word is common and one code will be common, hence the code for said can be identified, isn't it? Hence what is your choice here? And the data in both the statements are necessary. And in the data, the sufficiency, we are not supposed to bother about what the answer is. Now we need to check out whether the given information is sufficient to determine a unique answer or not. Man gichina data to answer manchapagal. And they can answer even the code manga. And coming to question number 67. Now in this 67, how many persons are there? Five people were there. T, U, V, W, and X, they are standing in a strike line facing towards north. And the question is about who is seated second to the left of T, isn't it? Then coming to condition number one, T is an immediate neighbor of both V and W. As T is an immediate neighbor of both V and W, how many possibilities we have? T can be at the second place, or third place, or the fourth place, isn't it? Now T can be at the third place as well. Hence V R W, V R W. And again, one more possibility is there for this T. If T is here, V R W or V R W. Done with this? V and W. And next one, T is an immediate neighbor of both V and W. U is an immediate neighbor of X. Now U and X are adjacent to each other, isn't it? Now this case is not possible. U and X are adjacent to each other. Hence the position of T itself is not clearly known. And in this case, the question is about second to the left of T. Here there is only one person to the left hand side of T. And, and in the second case, either U or X can be your answer. Are you getting a unique answer? Maybe U or maybe X. Hence, one alone is not sufficient. As one alone is not sufficient, then we need to check out for whether two alone is sufficient or not. Now in this one, T stands second from the right end of the line. T here is fixed. And only one person between U and T, U will be at this place. Are you getting the answer or not? Though the information about the remaining three persons is not given here, but as the question is related to who is sitting second to the left of T, hence U is seated second to the left of T is a unique answer. Hence what is your answer here? Only two alone is sufficient. As only two alone is sufficient, then tell me what is your choice? The data in two alone, one alone are sufficient, and that are data in both, and one alone is sufficient to answer. Then what is the choice we have? Choice? 5, as 5 is the answer. Question number 67, it is 5, only 2 alone is sufficient. Then coming to question number 3, how many people were invited to the function by B? And condition number 1, B invited more than 15 but less than 20. Hence with the help of condition number 1, the number could be 18, 16, 17, 18, 19, 4 different numbers. And the number of people invited to the but less than 20 people to the function and the number of people invited to the function was a number which is a multiple of 3. Now among these 4 numbers which is a multiple of 3, what is the number that is a multiple of 3? 18. Hence are we getting a unique answer or not? Hence 18 that is 1 alone is sufficient. As 1 alone is sufficient we cannot directly go for the choices. 1 alone to uchin gaapdu manna directly only 1 and japlen. Only 1 and shepudu vellal japan nai. And only 1 and the data in 2 alone no choice with the data in one alone is sufficient to answer the question while two alone is not sufficient in manak real two alone the rock about the upper choice by metal hence there is an another choice like either one or two that means one alone is sufficient or two alone is sufficient there is a choice of this type hence we need to go for two alone be invited more than 14 but less than 19 more than 14 but less than 19 15 16 17 18 and in the same way and the number of people invited to the function was a number which is a multiple of 2. Multiple of 2 means either 16 or 18. 
Now with the help of 2 alone, we are getting two different answers. The answer could be 16 or 18, and so 2 alone is not sufficient to determine a unique answer, and so only 1 alone is sufficient. Only 1 alone, and it is given choice, choice 5. 68. Then 16 and how far is L from point G? Now from G, we need to find out the direction, the distance of L from this point. L is 5 meters to the west of B. Now B is here. L is here. L is how many meters? 5 meters to the west of B. G is 5 meters to the east of A. L is 5 meters to the south of A. Now A is here. L is here. The distance between these two is 5 meters. L is 5 meters to the south of A. And L is 5 meters to the west of B. And G is 5 meters to the east of A. Now G is 5 meters to the east of A. Now G will be here, which is 5 meters to the east. Then the question is about how far is L from point G. Now tell me, is it possible to identify the answer or not? Yes. Hence, so one alone is sufficient. And come into the next one. Then condition number 2 alone. Now in 2 alone, tell me what is the answer we have. G is 5 meters to the north of B. Now the G is 5 meters to the north of B. G is here and B is here. Now the distance between these two is 5. K is 10 meters to the west of B. K which is 10 meters to the west of B. And in the same way, L is 5 meters to the east of K. L is 5 meters to the east of K. L will be here, which is 5 meters. Now we need to find out the relation between these two. Isn't it? Are you getting the answer or not? Yes. Hence, so 1 alone is sufficient and 2 alone is sufficient. Each statement alone is sufficient. And it is given which choice? Either 1 or 2, that is choice 3, question number 69. 69 choice 3 is the answer. Then coming to this 70. Now in this question number 17, in which academy does Santi study amongst academics, academics named UVWN X and Y? Now out of this UVWN X and Y, then the Santi studied in which one? First one, Santi's mother correctly remembered that she neither studies in academy W nor Y. W and Y are ruled out, hence U, V and X in any order. With the help of one alone, there are three different answers. Hence, one alone is not sufficient. Then coming to the second, Santi's best friend correctly remembers that the name of the academy in which he studies is not a consonant. That means it must be a vowel. Out of these five, which is a vowel here? U is a vowel. Are you getting the answer or not? And so only two alone is sufficient and only two alone. And it is given which choice? Choice four is the answer, 70. Clear? Now this is about question number 66 to 70, data sufficient. Then 71 onwards. Now in this question number 71 onwards, a school has decided to organize information sessions on rivers for seven days at a stitch starting from Wednesday and ending on Tuesday. Now starting and ending is clearly again Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Isn't it Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Now these are the seven days we have. Then again coming to the information. Coming to condition number one. Now in the first one, the session on Jammu is organized immediately after Narmada. Now, now Jamuna is immediately after Narmada, Narmada is here, and Jamuna is immediately after this Narmada. And next one, and there are three, and there are sessions on three other rivers between Narmada and Kaveri. Now in between Narmada and Kaveri, how many were there? There are three, exactly three were there in between. Narmada and Kaveri, and again between Narmada and Kaveri, and which is before, which is not clearly given. Maybe Narmada is before Kaveri or Kaveri is before this Narmada. There are two different possibilities in this one. Brahmaputra is on Saturday. Now on Saturday that is clearly given and it is Brahmaputra. Now Brahmaputra must be on Saturday and Ganga is after Brahmaputra. As Ganga is after Brahmaputra, how many possibilities we have? There are three different possibilities. Isn't it? As there are three different possibilities, first let us take, take Ganga is on Sunday. Now if Ganga is on Sunday, then tell me what are the different possibilities we have. Ganga on Sunday and Jamuna is organized immediately after that Narmada. And Jamuna is immediately after Narmada. If Narmada is here, Narmada can be here or not? Narmada is here, then Jamuna will be here. If Jamuna is here, three in between Narmada and Kaveri, one, two, three, Kaveri will be here. And if Kaveri is at this place, then 
now we have two what are those two here tapti gomti is immediately before tapti which is not possible are you following this one or not hence narmada cannot be on monday if narmada cannot be on monday then now can we have narmada on tuesday or not now this is the second possibility you are talking about narmada is on tuesday there and there are three in between narmada and jamuna hence jamuna must be at this place sorry narmada and kaveri and narmada and kaveri immediately after this narmada we need to have jamuna is it possible here not possible hence this narmada cannot be on monday and tuesday if it is on ganga ganga is on sunday follow out na rani hence this case is ruled out for this one then tell me what is the next one we have and we have checked out with what next second one al japan now this narmada can narmada be on friday narmada cannot be on friday and next one narmada can be on tuesday or not thursday if narmada is on thursday then how many are there hence jamuna must be here if jamuna is a three in between these two hence here it must be narmada and kaveri if it is narmada and kaveri then gomti and tapdi adjacent to each other not possible hence narmada cannot be on this day as well then what is the only possibility we have and narmada is on wednesday and there are three in between these two kaveri is here and if kaveri is here and narmada is immediately followed by jamuna and next one gomti and tapdi gomti is immediately before tapdi and this is gomti which is immediately before tapdi and what is the other thing left over here and ganga and ganga must be on friday and ganga then again now if you check out here ganga must be on after friday which is not possible in this case hence if you take this kaveri is on after this brahmaputra which is not possible at all onagadan then what is the possibility we have then now we need to have ganga must be after this what ganga must be after brahmaputra onagadan ganga after brahmaputra ekono start cheyal can you take ganga at this place ganga no why it is no no why can't be here ganga is after brahmaputra kadam ipudu ganga brahmaputra unta remaining em undal cheppu narmada and kaveri narmada and kaveri we need to have then narmada and kaveri ikkada unte 1 2 3 narmada and kaveri in these two places isn't it if narmada is here narmada immediately followed by jamuna and narmada ikkada unte then jamuna ikkada raavali or ikkada narmada unte ikkada em raavali cheppandi kaveri ikkada kaveri usthe and gomti and tapdi not possible hence narmada and ganga and narmada and jamuna cannot be here next possibility ikkada raavali and can we have this can we have this narmada here no why it is no must be immediately after this jamuna then tell me where can we fix these two as yes? sunday narmada now sir now the other possibility ganga cannot be at this place then where can we have this ganga can we have ganga at this place ganga now if ganga is here then between narmada and this one three undal three unte ee rendu manaku vastadi ikka narmada raakoddu ikka narmada raakoddu isn't it hence this case is completely ruled out then what is the other possibility we have we need to have these two adjacent to each other ee rendu narmada jamuna pakka pakkana undali and at the same time gomati and tapdi kuda pakka pakkana undali ee rendu pakka pakkana undali ante manaki ikkade em undali cheppandi this must be and tuesday tuesday endra vali ganga now if ganga is here and where should this narmada and jamuna kaveri here kaveri kaveri at this place is ko jo and why it is no and if it is kaveri and kaveri and narmada madhya rendu undali cheppandi three undali isn't it ikkada kaveri and usthe malli gomati and tapdi is not possible in this case as well hence kaveri and tapdi cannot be here then where should this kaveri and kaveri ikkada ite then next one narmada 1 2 3 narmada or next one if narmada is here or kaveri is at this place then here it must be narmada rendu it matra mood unnai kada and next one inke em cheppani gomati and tapdi where should this gomati and tapdi here gomti is immediately before tapdi and this is gomti is immediately before tapdi then and any other information there is left over here session on jamuna is organized immediately after narmada immediately after narmada and what is this one we have and session on jamuna hence narmada narmada ikkada unde chance led hence 
what should be here kaveri is here and kaveri is here here it must be narmadam and next one which is immediately after this one jamuna is immediately after this done and according to this one based on the schedule and four out of the following five are like that means odd men out kaveri and tapadi now between kaveri and tapadi there must be exactly one and tapadi and narmada there must be exactly one and gomti and brahmaputra gomti and brahmaputra there is exactly one and brahmaputra and jamuna here again there is exactly one narmada and jamuna also there is exact narmada and jamuna they are adjacent to each other hence what is wrong say here so i is fine and except the choice find the remaining there is exactly one river between these two but it's here they are adjacent to each other 71 choice five then coming to 72 now in this 72 and which of the following sessions is planned on sunday on sunday it must be narmada narmada that is given in sun narmada on which of the following days ganga and ganga is planned on and ganga is planned on tuesday choice two question number 72 then 73 which of the following sessions is planned on sunday on sunday it is narmada that is given in choice fine and all this and 74 based on the schedule 74 and narmada and brahmaputra narmada and brahmaputra here if you observe here narmada and brahmaputra they are adjacent to each other gomati and kaveri they are adjacent gomati and tapadi they are adjacent and ganga and kaveri now there are five rivers in between these two that is not possible isn't it except the choice for the remaining are adjacent to each other here there are four rivers difference then 75 onwards it is based on coded inequalities now in this coded inequalities the relation between m and b b is here m is here b greater than l l greater than m b greater than l m lesser than l means l greater than m now between b and m b greater than m is to m lesser than b is to then coming to the second one the relation between k and m now k and m m is here k is here which element is common l is common l greater than or equals to k m lesser than l means m lesser than l now between k and m one lesser than one greater than two opposite symbols so no relation and so what is your answer only one is true and it is given in choice three question number 75 then 76 now the relation between o and b if you observe here two opposite symbols so no relation and t and r now between these two which symbol is common lesser than and t lesser than definitely true that is choice one question number 76 then 77 the relation between h and k now here between this one h lesser than k k greater than h definitely true and in the next one p and j now j greater than p p lesser than j definitely true hence both the conclusions are true both one and two that is choice one question number 77 then 78 the relation between s and r now forget about this symbol equals to s lesser than or equals to r either s is lesser than r equals to either lesser than or equals to that is choice one 78 then 79 the relation between t and b now between t and b but between b and t which symbol is common lesser than b lesser than t which implies that t greater than b and the relation between w and a now between w and a there is one greater than one lesser than two opposite symbols no relation and so what is your answer only one is two that is choice three seventy nine then eighty onwards they are based on set of numbers now in this one three is subtracted from the first digit of every odd number and three is subtracted means here it must be one and odd numbers eight fifteen is again an odd number the first digit will be five and 657 the first digit will be 3 and next one and 4 is subtracted from the first digit of every even number and 4 is subtracted here from even numbers then which of the following will be sum of all the three digits of the highest number thus form what is the highest number we have and 515 what is the sum of this one 5 plus 1 plus 5 it is 11 choice so 4 question number 80 81 in each number all the digits are arranged in descending order from left to right descending order from left to right then what will the difference between the highest and the lowest numbers thus form descending order means the highest digit will always come to the first place now here what is the highest digit 4 here the highest digit is 8 here it is 5 here it is 7 here it is 7 then tell me which is the highest now this will be the highest 851 and which is the lowest 
now 432 is the lowest now the difference between these two then tell me what is the difference between these two and 11 minus 2 is 9 the last digit must be 9 that is given in choice to 81 then in this 82 the positions of the first and the third digits of each of the numbers are interchanged that means the entire number is reversed what will be the resultant if third digit of the highest number is divided by the first digit of the lowest number the first and the last digits are interchanged now this 3 will come to the first place here 5 comes to the first place 4 last digit is coming to the first place isn't it then which is the highest here and 756 is the highest resultant is the first digit of third digit of the highest number now 756 is the highest the third digit is 6 he is divided by the first digit of the lowest number what is the lowest number here 423 and now when the 3 is coming to the first place 324 the first digit is 3 and 6 divided by 3 is so much 2 that is given in choice 1 question number 82 then this 83 it is based on blood relations here g is the father of h how to represent this one g is the father of h h is the father of d g is the father of h h is the father of d d is the brother of s d and s are brothers and s is the wife of l s is the wife of l means s and l are married couple and l is the son of s is the wife of l isn't it s is the wife of l s a female is the wife of whom is the wife of l s is a female l is a male and l is the son of k l is the son of k and k is married to n means k and n are married couple then coming to the first one what is the first question we have 83 if n is the mother of j n is the mother of j hence j will be here and how is l related to j now l is the brother of j brother that is given in choice 3 question number 83 L is L and J are siblings out of which L is a male, L is the brother. 84, how is S related to G? G is son's daughter, son's daughter is granddaughter, that is choice 3, question number 84. Then in this 85, how is S related to K? K is son is L, son's wife, son's wife is daughter-in-law, daughter-in-law, that is choice 2, question number 85. Then in this 86, it is one mark. Individual question, shoulder, S-H-O-U-L-D-E-R, shoulder is the word we have. Now each vowel in the word shoulder is changed to the next letter. Vowel changed to the next letter, hence O will become P, and U will be V, and E will be F. And vowel changed to the next letter, each constant is changed to the previous letter. Now this is R, and this is Z, K, C, and Q. And then... And thus formed is arranged in alphabetical order from left hand side to right hand side. Which are the following from the seventh from the left hand? How many letters we have? Eight, eight letters. Eight letters means what will be the eighth letter if all the letters are arranged in the alphabetical order? Highest letter. What is the highest letter we have? V is the highest letter. That means V will be at the last place. That is eighth from the left hand side. And the seventh from the left hand side will be. And the previous one that is R. R will come to this place. Hence R, that is choice one, question number 86. Then 87 onwards, it is based on circular arrangement. Eight persons seated around a circular table, but not facing the center. That means all the persons are facing opposite to the center. All these eight persons are away from the center. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then coming to condition number one. And C is seated second to the left of N. Now I am taking N at this place. All the persons are away from the center. C sits a second to the left. That means if the persons are away, left hand side will be anti-clockwise and right, right hand side will be clockwise. Now C is seated second to the left of N and C is south to the right of O. Now the C himself is south to the right of O, O must be here. Then only C is south to the right of O is valid. Done with this? C is seated second to the left of N and at the same time, and C is south to the right of O. And B and E are immediate neighbors of each other. B and E are immediate neighbors of each other. And so many possibilities, B and E can be like this and B and E can be like this. There are two different possibilities. And out of which, neither of them is an immediate neighbor of N. As neither of these two are an immediate neighbor, it cannot be here. And so what is the only possibility we have? And so B and E must be in between O and C. Isn't it? Now B R E and B R E. And none of these two are adjacent to N. And B and E 
or immediate neighbors of each other but neighbor of them is an immediate neighbor of n d is south to the left of b as d is south to the left of b and so many possibilities we have d is south to the left of b and e are immediate neighbors but neighbor neither of them is an immediate neighbor of n d is south to the left of b and second to the right of m now we are talking about d d is south to the left of b now let us take the possibilities for this b b can be at any one of these two places can b be at this place if b is sir 1 2 d is south to the left of b means d must be here and second to the right of m d is second to the right of m m will be here it is possible and what is the other possibility we have and can we have b at this place b if b is here d is south to the left of b d must be here and if d is here and and second to the right of m n and m must be in the same place which is not possible and the second possibility is not possible here hence we are left with only the first one and so where should this be b is here d is here m is here d and e are adjacent e is here then tell me who is the person left over b c d e m and l m n o n must be l must be here and based on the given arrangement four out of the following again based on odd men out between m and l there are two persons n and o two persons d and c there are two persons l and e two persons and b and m again we have two persons number of persons in between these space is constant hence it is not based on number of persons as number of persons were not there then we need to check out for the direction what is the direction we have m and l now the first person m and l ipudu chudandi m ela unnadu l nunchi compare cheskunte l is away from the center 1 2 3 south to the right south to the left m is south to the left of l sarpinda ledha that means the first person is south to the left of the second person again n o nunchi anu chudandi now o is sir facing away 1 2 3 n is south to the left of o the first person is south to the left of the second now this d and c now d and c now c is facing away from the center now this d is the first person d is south to the right rather than left hand side and so what is your answer so i see first priority should always be for the number of people in between and if it is not and if it is a constant then we need to check out the order left or right it is 7 then coming to this idea which of the following is else position as what is else position here south to the left of e definitely true choice one 88 it is choice one then 89 which of the following is m position m position immediate right of n definitely false because immediate left of n is to south to the right of b south to the right of b is definitely true choice three and question number 89 it is choice three and based on the given seating arrangement if om is to e and d o and m are opposite isn't it o and m and at the same time n and d yes what is the relation between these two o and m and to the right hand side of this person m both the persons and in the same way d and e d and e are opposite and second to the right and who is the second person e now e and c and m are to the immediate right of this person and b and n b and n are opposite and ns and the immediate neighbors to n are l and d that is given in choice 4 90 choice 4 and 91 based four are the following again odd one out b l and d now we need to count from b l and d b to l 1 2 minus 2 and this is minus 1 isn't it now we are going in the reverse order here 1 2 l and 3 will be d that means minus 2 minus 3 that means in the anti clockwise l o and m now l and o l and o now here the order is what 1 and opposite m e and b if you check out here from m it is minus 2 minus 1 then what is your answer here choice 2 and 92 onwards it is based on directions r is 12 meters to the south of m m is here r is here r is what is the distance we have 12 meters r is 12 meters to the south of m t is 9 meters to the east of r now this is t which is 9 meters to the east of r and s is 16 meters to the west of t s is 16 meters to the west of t here 9 plus 7 16 8 plus 
S is 16 meters to the west of T. W is 5 meters to the south of S. W is here. Now this is 5 meters to the south of S. Y is 11 meters to the north of W. 11 means 5 plus 6, that is 11. This is Y is 11 meters to the north of W. Then coming to question number 92. If a person walks 7 meters east from point W, now from point W, if a person walks 7 meters towards east, now from W 7 meters means exactly down to what? R. R and W are in the vertical direction. And which of the following points should he reach? Then he takes a left turn. As this person takes a left turn, first he reaches to point R. That is choice 1. And 93. Y is in which direction with respect to T? Now from T in order to reach to Y, first I need to move towards which direction? North and West. North and West, Northwest. That is choice 5. Question number 93. And 94, how many such pairs? Now what is the word we have changed is the word we have C, H, A and G, E, D changed. Now in this word change, how many such pairs of letters are there? And first one C, starting from C if you count G, H, I, J, K, L, no letter is matching. H, I, J, K, L, M, A, B, C, D, E, N, O, P, Q. And G H I left hand side to right hand side we could not able to find even a single pair. And in the reverse D and E are adjacent to each other or not? And the next and C D E F S C and G. Now C and G how many letters we have? Three letters. D E F G C and G. There is one such pair. And in the reverse D and E one D E F G H I J E F G H I J G H I J K and N O P, no letter, and A, B, and C. And so many pairs we have? Three pairs. Three pairs, 94, it is choice. Two. And 95 onwards, it is based on sequence. Now in this sequence, tell me what is the information we have. And what should come in place of the question mark? Whenever the series type of questions were given, you should always write one below the other. 8, 3, Z, and the next term is L. J9, LJ9, and A9P, LJ9, A9P, star PY, star P and Y, then what should be the next one? Then coming to condition number 1, then compare 8 and L. 8 to L, tell me how many elements we are moving forward, 1, 2, 3, plus 3. Isn't from left to right we are moving, right hand side, that is 1, 2, 3, plus 3. If you move 3 elements to the right hand side of 8, you will get L. L and A? L and A, 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 4. Is in plus 3, plus 4. A and star, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5. And next one must be plus 6 to star. 6 element to the right hand side of star, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What is the first element we have? Beta. And among the given choices, beta given in 3 choices. Then we need to check out for second element. Now the relation between 3 and J. And from 3 to J, 1, 2, 3, plus 3. Third element to the right hand side of 3 is J. And J and 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 4. And 9 and P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5. And next one, 6, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so what is the element we have? Y. Now beta and Y, again we have two different, and all the three choices. Then we need to check out the last. And J and 9. J and 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 4. 9 and P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5. And P and Y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 6. And next one, plus 7. Seventh element to Y. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then what is your answer here? Choice 3 is answer 95. 95 is choice 3. Then 96. First element, 3, 4, 5, 6. And second element, 3, 4, 5, 6. Last element, 4, 5, 6, 7 is the difference. Then 96. Which of the following is ninth to the left of? 12th from the left hand. Now left and left means same direction. Same direction we need to subtract. Now 12 minus 9 is so much third. Finally we need to identify the third element from the left hand side. Now what is the third element from the left hand side? Dollar. Dollar that is given in choice 1. Question number 96. And 97. How many such letters are there? The question is about a letter. Each of which is immediately followed by another letter. That means letter followed by letter and preceded by number. And the sequence must be number, letter, and letter. Number, letter, and letter. Now this number is not followed by letter. This number is not followed by letter. 
now 9 a and h number is 9 followed by letter and a letter and this 4 not followed by letter 7 d and g 7 is a number letter is d another letter is g and next one directly check out for the number 5 is not followed by letter and 2 is not followed by letter that's it and so many we have we have only 2 and 2 that is given in choice one 97 then 98 now four out of the following four out of the following is nothing but an odd man out and tell me the relation among these this yon and t what is the relation between these two 1 2 minus 2 and t and 6 and t and 6 1 2 3 4 plus 4 left hand side and right hand side plus 6 again from 6 to v plus 1 what is the relation we have minus 2 plus 6 plus 1 and again coming to h from h onwards h to 9 h to 9 1 2 minus 2 and 9 2 plus 1 2 3 4 5 plus 5 and plus and p plus 1 here it is minus 2 plus 5 plus 1 isn't it minus 2 plus 5 plus 1 and in the first one t and 6 tell me how many are there t and 6 1 2 3 4 4 plus 4. Y and T one two one two three four plus four and nine and plus what is the difference? We have one two three four plus four. Now the second element is what plus four is the answer. Sir, put it in the letter. Yes. And next one star and plus if you observe here star two plus star two plus one two minus two plus and D one two three four plus four and D and G plus one and choice for U and five one two minus two. And five and two, one, two, three, four plus four, and two and one. This is plus one. Two, four and one. Eight and three. Now this eight and three is minus one between the first two letters, except in choice five. And in the remaining choices, the difference between the first two letters is two elements. But as in choice five, it is only one element. That is five is the answer. Ninety-eight. Then ninety-nine. Four out of the following. Then which one does, that does not? J and N. Now J and N. Now, so this is not based on the above sequence. Now, J and then what is the difference? We have the difference between these two is plus two, plus four, because the value of J is ten and N is fourteen in the English alphabetical order, and O is fifteen. Now, in the English alphabetical series, O and U, O and U, the difference is how much? Plus six, fifteen and six, twenty-one, and seven and eighteen. Sorry, seven and eighteen. The difference between these two is how much? Eleven, and next one. L and X, the difference is how much plus four, and B and J, the difference is how much plus eight. Then what is the odd one we have among this? S odd one. Now if you observe here, in these terms, the difference between the elements is not constant. Ona ga, okay, the gram is six on the, the gram is four, and go the gram is eleven. Now if you observe here, except in choice two, and in the remaining, all the given letters are consonants, but whereas in choice two, both the letters are vowels. Then And so, what is your answer? Except in choice two, and in the remaining, the letters are consonants. But whereas in choice two, the letters are vowels. And so, ninety-nine is choice two. Then a hundred. How many such pairs of letters are there in the word trouble? T R O U B L E. Trouble is the word we have. Now, in this word trouble, how many such pairs of letters? Then tell me what is the pair we have in this one trouble? And T, no letter more than this one. And again, R S T U S T U V W O P Q R U. No letter more than this one. Left hand side to right hand side, we cannot able to find even a single pair. And again in the reverse, E F G H I J K L M N O. Between L and O, if you observe here, there are two letters in this word. And again in the alphabetical series also, between L and O, we have only two letters. And next one, P Q B C D E F. And you, that's it. Hence, how many pairs we have? Only one such pair. That is choice two, question number hundred. Done. Now with this, we have come to an end of this paper, a reasoning section. Now in this reasoning section, not even a single question is difficult, isn't it? And you can easily score thirty-five out of thirty-five in this one. The only time consuming is data sufficiency. Rest everything is a cakewalk to you. The next one. My next thing can only a number series type, isn't it? Number series question numbers, please. Thirty-one. Then question number thirty-one to thirty-five. Now in this thirty-one to thirty-five, thirteen, twenty, and so on. Now thirteen, twenty, forty-one. Then tell me what is the difference? 
as the numbers are increasing at a smaller rate it must be under difference 13 and 20 plus 7 20 and 41 what is the difference for it 21 is a difference 41 and 76 the difference is 35 7 21 35 what are these numbers odd multiples of 7 7 into 1 7 into 3 7 into 5 then 7 into 9 what is 7 into 9 49 then 49 when added to 76 what is the number we have and 7 plus 4 11 plus 1 125 and 125 that is choice five question number 31 clear odd multiples of 7 are added then 32 now in this 32 3 and 4.5 then tell me what is the difference we have between these two and 1.5 is the difference between these two or else we can as it is based on decimal and multiply each and every number with 10 and 3 into 10 will be 30 next one will be 45 here the number is 63 85 and 112 then what should be the next number tell me here 30 and 45 the difference is 15 45 and 63 what is the difference 18 and next one and 63 and 85 the difference is how much yes tell me what is the difference here 22 and 85 and 112 15 plus 12 27 and among the differences if you observe here this is 3 here the difference is 4 next difference is 5 3 4 5 next one is 6 27 plus 6 is 33 and 112 plus 33 33 plus 12 is how much 45 now finally 145 when as we had multiplied the number with 10 finally we need to divide the number by 10 that means 14.5 that is choice to question number 32 then 33 Numbers starting with the 4 and ending with the 4100. As the numbers are increasing at a very fast rate, hence it must be product or combination. 4 and 10, 10 and 33 cannot be directly related in the product. Hence it must be under combination. Hence 4 into 2 plus 2. And 10 into 3, 30 plus 3, 33. 33 into 4, 132 plus 4. Next one must be into 5 plus 5. Now 136 into 5 is nothing but divided by 2. And 136 divided by 2, 2, 6, 12, and 16, 680. And 680 plus 5, 685. That is choice for question number 33. Into 1 plus 1, into 2 plus 2, into 3 plus 3, into 4 plus 4, into 5 plus 5. Then coming to 34, 11, 20 to 88. Numbers starting with 11 and ending with 11,000. That means numbers are increasing at a very faster rate. Hence it must be product or combination. 11 and 11 can be directly multiplied in product into 1 and 11 and 22 into 2 here the difference here it is into 8 1 2 8 and the next number 1 into 2 is 2 uh, sorry into 4 1 into 2 is 2 2 into 4 is so much 2, 2 into 2 is 4 1 into 2 2 into 2 now 4 into 2 8 88 into 8 the last digit must be 4 among the choices last digit 4 in given in choice 4 7 not 4 34 then 35 now in this question number 35 tell me how to work out this one now the numbers now the numbers are increasing at a smaller rate it must be under difference then 5 and 14 what is the difference we have 9 14 and 42 difference is how much 28 and 42 and 107 difference is how much 65 and next one difference what is the difference we have 126 then what are these numbers 9 28 65 can be written as 9 can be written as 2 cube plus 1 and 28 can be written as 3 cube plus 1 65 can be written as 4 cube plus 1 126 5 cube plus 1 next one 6 cube plus 1 what is 6 cube plus 1 217 now 217 plus 33 that is how much and 40 hence what is the answer we have and 450 choice two. clear now the difference between the numbers can be expressed as n cube plus 1 then with this we have done with this reasoning and a number series in this paper